What's going on everyone? Welcome back to T3G. My name is Dallyboard and today we are looking at what is probably the only, at this point, protection solution for the front screen of your LG wing. Uh, I have gone through quite a journey to get to a point where I have something that protects the front and uh, surprisingly, I like it. Whatever it is that you do, do the damn thing. Now, as I mentioned in the last video, I've gone through quite a journey with my LG Wing recently, and in that search for replacement screens and all these other things, I found a couple, I'll say a couple, there was a couple different manufacturers of this. Uh, I found a couple different uh, manufacturers of this protective screen. I'm gonna have to take this off to show it to you, but this is it, right? It's, it's actually just a 3D printed piece. This one specifically is called the Protector, which I appreciate. And uh, what it does is it gives you an actual raised protective layer over the screen. Uh, it's not something that snaps on the front, it's something that attaches as so. So you slide on, slide it behind, and then just kind of nudge it in on the back end here. You gotta just kind of fiddle with it a little bit to get it properly in there. But once it's in, it snaps into place. And that is locked in right there. The other one that I found has uh, adhesive and I don't think it locks into place. This one, the way it's designed, it does actually snap into place. Uh, so there it is. I have a raised protection from the screen. You'll see that there is actually a lowered section here in the middle that allows me to still use my my, my touch and my swipe features, which is great. But most of all, I actually feel confident in this phone being protected now. Uh, there, it, it, Like I said, it's above the screen, so even if it landed face front, uh, as long as the surface is flat and not, you know, all sorts of different levels and, of damage, uh, it, it's gonna take the, the hit. Like, it's gonna take the hit instead of the screen, which is fantastic. Now, there are a couple drawbacks. It is a 3D printed item, so there, you know, you can see the layers. Uh, it's not a perfect print, so like on, you know, the top end here, there's a little bit of a gap. Uh, so there's still some like fibers kind of loose. Um, and it, I think it just kind of needs like a, a sanding, like a light sanding around the edges just to polish it off. Now my immediate concern uh, when I opened it was, man, that is, you know, that is a lot of contact area. Is this gonna scratch up my lower screen? And I'm happy to report, not a single scratch. I have opened this and closed it dozens of times at this point with the protector on it and no problems. Uh, what I will say, the only drawback, if you can call it that, which like it's never been that big of a thing for me, it doesn't, see like it doesn't quite just like swing open on its own anymore, because it's it's got a little more material back there, uh, which I again, not a huge loss to me, like usually when I'm going into this view, I'm typing, so like my second hand is involved anyway and maybe just over time it might kind of work its, work itself out. I have noticed on the back that there is a bit of a, a, of a trail and I think that's from this uh, raised area on top of the screen that allows the screen itself to like not like bounce and pivot. Not really, I don't think there's really anything to be done about that. I think that's what also slows down the swivel. But again, it's not like a functional problem. It's not gonna damage anything. Um, and overall, I think this is a great solution for the LG Wing. Uh, I think it's a great product. It's only $10 uh, and that kind of goes to show that people who are making stuff on their own, like manufacturing itself is not that expensive. And what I really wanted to just point out was the, the sad fact that a multi-million dollar conglomerate <laughs> that makes all sorts of devices, not just cell phones, I mean, granted, no longer makes cell phones, but no one thought of this. Like, oh, okay, maybe it's not like a perfect solution, like, you know, ergonomically or whatever, whatever. Like, maybe it's not like perfectly aligned, but like, Spigen, where the hell were you with this solution? You know what I mean? Like, where is Spigen with this solution? Where is Casemate with this solution? Where are these companies that, that's literally their main things to make cases and they didn't come up with this? It took a user to be like, hey, how can I solve this problem that I have for myself and then turn that into a model where they're able to sell that and, and make a little bit of money off of it. 
for their trouble. And I applaud them for that, and I hope they, they pursue that further, and I hope that they, they, they find more solutions to more models. I think there are definitely a ton of phones out there. If I can throw out a recommendation to the person that made this specific unit, uh, go for the Duo, the, the, the Microsoft Surface Duo. That seems to be extremely light on cases. I think if you can provide something cool and protective, you're gonna, you're gonna find yourself a nice little niche there. Of course, the product is linked down below. It's an eBay link, but the, the shipping, I mean, like pretty straightforward shipping. It was very well protected when it came in. Uh, I actually, I wasn't sure what it was, but then I popped it open and I was like, oh, hey, my, my case, so I slipped it on right away before I left the house. I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm not even just like taking a single, I don't wanna be the guy that left the house with the case at home and then broke it today. Don't wanna be that guy. So I'm like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put this on and move on and see how it performs. And honestly, it's been a fantastic experience today and I actually like, I feel comfortable and like secure in this phone for the first time in a while. <laughs> like, super excited about that. Uh, that's gonna be it for this one. Just a quick overview of this specific product, uh, this specific case accessory. Like it's not even just a whole case. I would, I would encourage this person to make a whole case, sell that motherfucker for $20. I'd buy it. I'll buy, I'll buy a matching set here, make it look a little, make it look comparable, make it look nice. Give it, give it a little sand though. Give it a little sanding right along these edges. You know what I'm saying? I got a little, got like, like little hooks, little, little like, little catch it. Like, can you hear? Can you hear that? Like it just catches a little bit right along that top edge. Just like a light sanding, just to give it a nice smooth edge. And you'll be in business. I mean, like you're already in business, but you'll be in better business. <laughs> That's going to be it for this one. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.